hi guys thanks so much for coming back to my channel today i want to share with you an aldi haul i really went in there to pick up one or two or maybe three items with my mom and then end up full-blown grocery shopping and we really we did need stuff but we didn't need too many things and because i already had meats here i had vegetables here but let me share with you what i picked up i ended up spending 105 and I was going to spend $60 or less. I really wanted to get like see what they have for non-food items. And I like going when I don't plan on shopping with my mom or something. Because I'm just browsing. And that's when you get to see what other things that they have. Like the specialty items, the seasonal items. Uh, maybe some healthy food options that I may overlook. Or some new products they may have have. They may have have. So, let me share with you the haul, and I'll also share a meal plan, and it seemed like I wanted to tell you guys something else, but I can't remember right now. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on that notification bell so you know whenever I upload any videos, and don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Facebook. Oh, and I have an Instagram just for planning now. It's planning my life full of hope, and, um... It'll just be like planning things over there and yeah so let's get started with this haul okay guys so starting over here I picked up some Kobe Jack cheese two bags of that and it's $1.99 and I picked that up because I am going to make breakfast casserole maybe for dinner one day or I am going to prepare it ahead of time so then people can have it for breakfast and it's already made so that's why I picked up the Kobe Jack cheese then I also picked up some buttermilk biscuits for a quick breakfast for the boys and then I wanted some strawberries I was out of the frozen kind I didn't get a organic this time for my smoothies I like the Vega protein and I usually find it at Target so I want to try I want to try two shakes today but I really need at least one shake a day. So I picked that up and I like to put blueberries and strawberries. I also picked up the Fusia Asian Inspiration Pork Egg Rolls. You get four in here and they are kind of pricey because I think they're like two, I don't think they're three dollars. But they're close to that and you only get four. But they're really good and I bought the pork and the chicken I think it's the chicken that's really good and I could not remember for the life of me which one was um, the bomb.com which is the best and I think it's the chicken so I just bought both because I couldn't remember I picked up them some cookies and cream I can't remember if it was I didn't even look at the ticket so let me not even say that it was $4.99 or either $3.99 and then some grape fit and, fit and active grape sugar free and I picked up the lemonade and the fruit punch and I thought I would keep a pic pitcher in the refrigerator because I found myself, and my husband does it too, where we grab whatever that's cold in there. And we may not necessarily want that at the time instead of grabbing water. And I probably need to start putting the water bottles in there. They're probably safe now in the refrigerator. But before, Cottrell was the one that would suck up all the water bottles and then confiscate them to his room. And then he has mountains of water bottles in his room so I noticed we don't go through them as fast too because we use the refrigerator and because he's not here so um, I think we might be safe maybe because JJ might get them if we put the water bottles in the refrigerator so I'm gonna try that this week okay so um, I picked up some deli style smoke on cured ham we don't use too many too much of the deli ham like we used to but I want to put this in the casserole. Try something new. Usually I just put. Usually for the recipe it calls for sausage. And you just ground it up. Um, brown it up and ground it up. Like hamburger. But um, I'm going to try ham. Since it's going to be like a dinner meal. Ham and um, bacon pieces. Then I picked up the eggs. Their eggs are kind of high. They're like $1.99. And I meant to actually get some from Walmart. And get the 18 count or the double 18 count and I forgot so even though you guys see this haul there are times I go in the grocery store and I don't haul it I probably need to call it grocery minutes I don't know and I do pick up several things or quite much maybe as much as here 
and I don't haul it like I went I haven't went to the grocery store twice and didn't haul it so um to say that I was waiting because these were just so much um $1.99 and the eggs used to be cheaper Mm-hmm. okay so I picked up two packages of the black Angus country style ribs and these were six to five dollars and I wanted I think I said in the last grocery haul to make are these beef I guess they are because they're Angus I guess it don't matter but I have a recipe from the six sisters that I've used in a crock pot and I'm gonna make that with I can't remember if you make your own barbecue sauce or you use barbecue sauce either way I'll be prepared but I'll make sure I link that below and I really like um, that recipe because it's super easy and it's good so I picked up some orange juice some grape jelly we're always picking that up some paper plates the boulder um, they had this on the specialty seasonal stuff out so um, the beefy onion it was 99 cents and I meant to put it back because the Lipton onion which you'll see in a minute was only 55 cents but I just wanted it because I'm going to make oh that's a lot of beef another slow cooker possibly tomorrow for for a roast in the slow cooker for dinner on Sunday <laughs> get your words hope so I also picked up the extra version olive oil I was all out the teriyaki stir fry I haven't picked this up in a while they have oriental in this and I have a big bag of chicken I think I said that in the last haul they forgot and I finally picked it up I picked it up so I have plenty of chicken for that it comes with a bag of teriyaki seasoning but I think I have some but I try to use that sparingly because of the sodium and stuff. I did pick up a packet of brown gravy for to have on hand if I don't need it. But really that roast makes its own gravy. Because I'm trying to start like pick up stuff to just have on hand so I don't have to go to the store. Which is working out pretty, um, pretty often. So once a year guys, if you've been with me long enough, this is the time that Aldi puts out their entertainment pieces um they start probably in the next couple of weeks start rolling out stuff for thanksgiving and christmas so today i was eyeing a chopper and i had a chopper from kitchen aid and it worked well um i think it's just i wore it down that's all but i didn't even use it all the time but i did use it the years before so in other words they have one for 14.99 if they still have them when i go back i may get it but this is one of their ones that I usually get every year. And I can tell I have not been cooking a lot this year as much. Um, probably the last two years because my cookie sheets don't look too terrible. So um, these were $6.99. I remember when they were 4 I think I remember when they were $3.99. But I could be wrong. But I do remember that it was at least $5. But I don't understand why they're so wide here. But long as they can fit in whatever I needed to fit it in and then I'm gonna get rid of the old cruddy ones that I have um, I think that I had those for years previously but the ones I got last year are still okay they have like a copper color too but I didn't want that this is one of the reasons why I went to the store <laughs> with well, I was going with mama and this was the one thing that I was supposed to pick up Saya, what are you doing don't make a mess on them um what are you doing get some ice okay okay so then sorry guys I need to put the lock on that water and ice machine because I just thinks he can go get it and I don't want him to tear it up you can't carry all of that what you doing I my okay alrighty so this was the main reason why I was supposed to went in there uh, <laughs> Jason, well, not the main reason, like I was saying, but one of the things I supposed to picked up, and he requested this. He loves these cookies, and end up getting all of this other stuff. Um, I picked up these mini muffins. These are good. And Mama asked me, do they have an aftertaste? Because they're blueberry. They are kind of pricey. They're two ninety nine, um, but they are good. And I put them on my little breakfast bar over here that I put on Instagram. And you see, they didn't touch the bagels probably time to take those out they ain't touch none of this none of it trail would have if he was here and then um oh they did 
it was more than this so jason was eating that okay and okay so then but these are really good they have them in chocolate chip too but they're 2.99 and you get 12 12 okay so the mega meat i have no, i'm sure i hauled these before but i've been getting those really thin crust ones just being cheap and i thought these used to be five something but i was surprised they were 3.99 um today and they don't have these all the time and i used to get them quite often and for me that's too that's a lot of bread so i bought them for them <laughs> that's a lot of bread um gets me full too quick um really fast so i picked up three of those and they were actually going to eat that today but i stopped at chick-fil-a and got everybody a sandwich okay so mama and i were looking at these cookies and we just wanted to try them jason probably end up i just want like a couple jason probably eat most of them they're 199 so these spice german cookies and i guess these are seasonal and then mama said she saw these in grady's mom's haul and kimberly davis's haul diva designing on a dime no it wasn't a haul it was in her um kitchen tour and she had it in her coffee or something bar so she wanted to try these but she didn't know they were 199 but we ended up getting them and i think um i'm not a big fan on cookies my weakness is like donuts and stuff so that's for them <laughs> Then I picked up the crescent rolls for the breakfast casserole, some sausage for the breakfast casserole. I think this was marked down. Not much, like 10 cents. Then I picked up some beef bouillon just to have on hand. I think this, for me, is better than buying the cartons. So I've been liking to get this and use this instead of the cartons of broth. And then this is another thing I want to keep on hand. I'm starting to like... This is a real chatty grocery haul, y'all. I'm starting to like to make it, and the family is agreeing to like the crushed tomatoes and making my own sauce. But I really don't let it simmer and stuff, but I just doctor it up. I put garlic in it. I put Italian seasoning, parsley in it, the dried stuff. And I'm sure the fresh is probably, ooh, delicious. So we're liking this, and I like I like to make the noodles separate from the sauce. That's my favorite now, instead of mixing it all together. But we'll eat it either way. So this is my favorite now, and so I want to keep these on hand because they don't cost much. And I think these were cheaper actually in Walmart right now than Aldi. These were 79 cents. So I know back in the day, I don't know if I said this before, when we used to have to go to the food bank monthly um because you only can usually go once a month but you can go for like bread or fruit like every week or something and sometimes this is all they gave me or they gave me tomato paste usually they gave me this or they gave me whole potatoes not potatoes tomatoes and i had to usually i just mashed them down until they was like a sauce and a lot of times all i had was salt and pepper to season it and that was before I knew other stuff that was cheaper that I could have got. And it was delicious. And that's when I discovered starting making it with turkey and stuff like that. And it was so good. So they raved about this. So I'm going to start just making it from that. Maybe one can of spaghetti sauce, but just that. Whew, that was a lot. Okay, California raisins. Some caramel coconut for... JJ and some peanut butter wafers. Josiah asked for these and it's funny that Josiah he's very obs uh, observant kid. He knows what mommy always picks up so he grabbed this because he knew JJ wanted them because we were talking. He listens to everything. He grabbed this because he knew Jason wanted some and he grabbed some red grapes but I just bought some green grapes from Walmart and I was like I'm not getting those today Josiah so he pays attention. Um, some raspberry lemonade some bacon pieces, some onion soup mix. Right now, this is only 55 cents. And some sour cream and onion chips. And that's it. Just that little bit, which was a lot. All that talking. And then, I picked up a 24-pack um, of purified water. That's it, guys. Let me, I'm going to add a meal plan to this. Alrighty, guys. So, for this week, tomorrow... We'll have roast with mashed potatoes and a veggie. 
I have several veggies in there. I'm not sure. And I have some kangas I stopped up on. So it could be string beans. It could be peas. Uh, not peas, but string beans or something. And I don't think broccoli. It could be some chopped greens or something. And then some chicken stir fry with egg rolls. Breakfast casserole. And I'll get some type of fruit with that. Country style on Wednesday. Country style barbecue. Um, ribs in the crock pot with the brown rice and a veggie and then salmon with some ranch potatoes which I suppose I have made with something else on my last meal plan but I didn't take them out to thaw so yeah so, with some broccoli and then Friday pizza and then Saturday a free day so um yeah I try to coordinate it when Jason's off and then I try to coordinate it with a night that we're less busy yeah because JJ has practice on some of these days but I try I'm trying to do like more crock pot or simple meals so I won't be in the kitchen so I'll be doing something else so that is it for the week of next week I don't even know today's the 20th 21st 22nd 22nd through the 25th is that right 26 Oh, you know what? JJ's going to Washington, D.C. on a field trip. So, let's see. Today's the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 20th. Some of this may change. Some of this may change. So, we'll see. Yeah, because he won't be here to eat. Be here to eat it. So, I probably will switch it around. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.